In this video, I'm going to be talking about profiles in Ecamm Live so that you can understand how they can help you if you have multiple different use cases for Ecamm Live, if you are collaborating with others in your Ecamm projects, or even if you only have one use case, how they can help you to back up and make sure all of your work is nice and safe and secure. So in Ecamm, obviously, we have a series of scenes, we have our overlays, we have all these different assets that we use in our productions, our sound effects, movie files, all that sort of thing. We also have a load of settings that are related to our production. So for example, the stream size, the aspect ratio, all that sort of stuff, our interview mode settings, if we're using interview mode with all of our custom branding and all that sort of thing. Uh, and so all of this is unique and all comes together to form the, uh, you know, the backbone of whatever pro production we are using Ecamm live for however you may have another use case for ecamm live which requires completely different settings and that is what profiles for it's a different profile for each of those use cases even if you've got one though then uh, you'll want to stay on to hear about how you can use the profile that you're using uh, as a backup or rather how you can back that up so i'll be coming to that shortly uh, so profiles you can find within the uh, menu in the top menu bar of uh, your mac uh, if you are in ecamm you'll see the profile menu if I just zoom in on this a little bit, uh, you can see that it's got uh, basically these five top things here, uh, top menu items. And if you are new to Ecamm, then there will just be something that says, I think it says default profile or something like that. But let's go down these different options. Uh, and then I should add that then as you create more profiles, they will then just appear in this list that I'm just running up and down now. So let's just come over to here though, and we'll go through these different options that we've got. Uh, so first of all, new blank profile is uh, as you might expect, it will create a completely new profile within Ecamm Live. That means that you'll start again with a completely clean uh, scenes window and overlays window uh, with nothing in there ready for you to start afresh, like a completely new blank canvas for you to work with. You may though want to actually duplicate the profile that you've already created and I'll come on to this in a little while but basically uh, you can just duplicate the current profile so that it'll copy all of the scenes, all the overlays and everything like that. So you've got that as a starting point. Next, you've got export current profile, which we're going to be talking about for that collaborative approach and also for backups. Uh, then you've also got delete current profile and rename current profile. So as I've said, the, in the profile, it's basically going to capture all of the scene layouts, all of the uh, overlays, all of the settings that you've got throughout Ecamp will all be uh, captured in there. So what I've found is that it's useful to create a template profile. So that's what I have down here. I've got this template here, uh, which is a profile that I created where I went through and thought, right, what are all of the different sort of uh, common layouts that I'm going to want to have within my scene. So for example, I always have a scene that looks like this with, uh, you know, the camera face onto me. Uh, I might change it up in terms of the border and the background image. So if I just come out of demo mode for a moment and I'll hide my camera, um, then basically all of my uh, my scenes in my Take One Tech uh, profile have this background and that's what gives them that sort of common look depending on whichever scene that I'm in. It always has that background. Uh, so you might want to just create a profile that's got all of your different camera positions and then all you're going to do is just replace that background to give it its own look. And then obviously you might change the border colors and things like that. I would then go and add in in some of the things that I use Ecamm for. I would have a uh, you know a little logo bug or something like that. I use Ecamm for not just creating these videos. I use it for my Zoom calls for business. Uh, I then use it for giving specific presentations and then also for training materials and things like that as well. So lots of different use cases for it, but still these common views that I have in terms of the scene layouts. So creating that template file is going to be a great way to start with that. And if I come back in here create the template file uh, of the template profile, I should say, uh, and then you would just duplicate that and then rename it. And you've got that as a starting point then for uh, for your new show, your new uh, uh, new thing that you're creating with Ecamm Live. Uh, you can then, of course, export, as I've just mentioned, export current profile. What that will do is it will export it as a file and the file will look something uh, like this. So it will say, in this case, I've exported my Zoom profile. So it's exported it as zoom.ecamm profile. So the file extension is .ecamm profile. That's how you know that it is a, a profile. That has encapsulated everything related to uh, that particular profile. It's encapsulated the uh, images, 
the scenes, all of those things, all of those settings are all in that file. What that means is that uh, I use this when I'm copying it across to another computer. So I have another laptop that I have Ecamm on. Uh, and so sometimes I wanna create the profile in one computer and then go over to the other computer and just have the profile there. So I can share that through, you know, AirDrop, Dropbox, whatever you want, uh, and then just double click on it and it will open up the profile on that computer. It's also a great way, therefore, to uh, just back up as well. Make sure that once you've created your masterpiece in Ecamm, that you do uh, export it, export that profile, uh, and then you've always got it as a backup. But you can also use it in this way for collaboration as well. So if you've created a profile, maybe you're working with somebody else and one person's doing the, uh, the design side, somebody else is running the show, then one person can create the profile, send it over to the other person, and then they can have it on their computer and be doing all of the, uh, the running of the show from there. Incidentally, you can also do something similar with scenes. So I can just take any scene and I could just uh, say this main scene, for example, I could just drag that and drop it into the finder. Uh, and there we have got a, uh, a new file, which instead of being called .ecamm profile, this one is just .ecamm live. So that is a backup of the slide, uh, sorry, the slide, the scene. <laughs> you can tell I come from a presentation background, the uh, scene. Uh, and then this is also another way that if you have created a profile, again, with this collaborative approach and um, say you've just created one extra scene and you don't want to export the whole profile again you just want to send over this one new scene uh, then that is an easy way to do that and this by the way goes for groups as well so if you just highlight a group of scenes you can drag those across or folders full of scenes as well you can do that as well uh, so that is just an easy way that you can back up and share and uh, collaborate with others using profiles. It's certainly something that I use a lot. I highly recommend that uh, you go ahead now and if you haven't already got a backup, then definitely go and back up your profiles. Now, this was added in, I think, dot 3.9, version 3.9 that this was added, but there have been a ton of new features added in 3.10. So if you want to go and just click on this playlist, that will have a load of those new features uh, where I explain all of the benefits of those as well. Thank you.